in the forgotten corners of Wrocław, far from the lively market square and the touristy buzz, there stood an old tenement, tucked away on a street where time seemed to stall. The building was a relic from an era when Wrocław was still called Breslau. Its brick facade was cracked, its windows clouded with dust and grime. But what haunted passers-by was the face. High above the worn doorframe, emerging from the stone like a nightmare carved into reality, was the dark visage of a woman. It was no ordinary face. Her expression was both beautiful and terrible a twisted representation of Medusa. Her stone hair, once a tangle of serpents coiling in anger, now appeared limp and fragmented. Some of the snakes had long since crumbled away, leaving behind jagged gaps, while others clung desperately to the decaying structure. The face itself, once pale and defined, had turned almost black. Years of pollution, relentless rain and harsh winters had taken their toll, blotting the features with deep stains and cracks. But it wasn't just time that had eroded her beauty. The city had moved on, forgetting the quiet street where she kept her watch. There were no plaques to explain her origin, no tourists stopping to admire her. Locals passed by without a second glance, too familiar with the gloom that had settled over the area like a veil. Yet... If one stood still and watched, they might catch a flicker in the remaining stone eyes, a shadow of life that had never truly left. The Medusa, some whispered, had been placed there as a warning during the city's darker days. Others claimed she was meant to protect the residents from unseen forces. But whatever her purpose, the years had rendered her forgotten, as brittle as the stone itself. With each passing winter, a new piece of her fell away. A snake here, a fragment of her lips there. Until one day, nothing would remain but rubble on the sidewalk. Until then, her eyes would continue to stare into the distance, her face locked in a silent scream as she slowly, inevitably crumbled into nothingness.